That was Eric Clapton uh, on George Harrison and the Beatles' While My Guitar Gently Weeps from the White Album, coming in at number 42 on Guitar World Magazine's Top 100 Solos of All Time. Uh, a lot of people don't even know that that was Eric Clapton playing on that song because he was, uh, he was uncredited on the White Album. I don't know if that was his idea or if it was uh, Lennon and McCartney's idea or George Harrison's idea. But uh, that was an uncredited uh, cameo appearance by Eric Clapton on that song. Some people still think it was George Harrison playing the guitar, but in fact it was Eric Clapton. Uh, the band at this point in their career were really not getting along. They had just gotten back from India when they were getting ready to record the White Album, and they were just at each other's throats uh, day in and day out in the studio. And when George Harrison brought this song, which uh, had initially begun its life as an acoustic ballad, before he decided to uh, turn it into a bit more of a rock song. Uh, when he brought it to the band in the studio, they were, uh, Lennon and McCartney especially, were, were unimpressed with the song and they did not want to include uh, Harrison's song on the album, which incensed George Harrison to no end because he was quite proud of the song. And, and uh, he himself was trying to put down a backwards guitar solo for this one and having uh, very little success finding something to, that, that worked and fit. And uh, he was out with his good buddy Eric Clapton one day and asked Eric Clapton if he'd like to come in the studio to uh, put down a solo for the song. And uh, Clapton said, uh, people just don't play on Beatle albums. You know, up to this point in the Beatles career, no one other than the four Beatles had ever performed on a Beatles album in the studio. And uh, so Clapton was reluctant to go in the studio and uh, didn't think that Lennon and McCartney would be too pleased with that, uh, with, uh, with that happening. But uh, George Harrison said, you know, well, fuck them. You know, this is my song, and if I want you in the studio, and if I want you to play the solo on this, then you're going to play the solo on it. So uh, it ended up being a good thing, uh, because uh, the rest of the Beatles were on their best behavior, at least for a few days, while Clapton was in the studio. And uh, they actually had a, a few days of pleasant recording, which was uh, very rare uh, during their career at this point. And uh, Clapton just put down just a classic solo, uh, one of the greatest solos he ever put down on record. And uh, just so much feel in this one, so the vibrato and the bending, and just a fantastic, uh, incredible uh, Eric Clapton solo. Not technically difficult, but just to, to nail those bends and the vibrato, just a, just a beautifully structured solo. Uh, I did both solos for this one. I did the, the, the main solo, and then I did the outro solo, which is even longer. And I filled in the inner bit uh, with just a little bit of an improv uh, over the melody line of the song. I, I doubled up the guitar during that part just to give it a little more weight. And uh, it, just for fun. And I tried to make it as bendy and as vibrato filled as possible. But uh, just, just a joy to play that one. It's just a great classic solo and very well deserving of being on this list. And uh, so that's all I got to say about that one. And a uh, great solo from Clapton, and uh, I just wish Clapton continued on into the 70s and 80s as a rock artist. Uh, you know, he ended up becoming this darling of adult contemporary radio and writing nothing but love ballads, and uh, I just stopped listening to him I, I, after, after the early 70s. But uh, anyway, he's an incredible guitar player. But, uh, so anyway, that's it for that one, and uh, got some Queen coming up next, which should be fun. Some Brian May, I think it's Brian, no, there's a couple of, there's another, I think Bohemian Rhapsody somewhere on this list as well. Uh, but Brighton Rock is coming up next, which is about five minutes long, and about four minutes of it is guitar solo. I have not touched it yet. I may set up the camera for my learning process on this one. People have been asking me to, uh, to see my learning process and my practice uh, routine. Uh, maybe I can condense the whole three or four days that I work on this track uh, down into a 10-15 minute video. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to sit down tomorrow and start learning that. So maybe I'll set the camera up and uh, uh, I don't know. I just I go over the same thing over and over and over until I get it right. I can't see how that can be very much fun to watch. But maybe if I condense it down it might be interesting. But uh, so anyway, that's it for this week. And uh, we'll see you next week with some Queen and Brian May, and uh, you take care of yourselves. I hope you like that one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao.